Yo, what up guys? I'm Sammy and welcome back to the Soul Brothers channel. And today I'm going to be talking about my top favorite shoes I like to play in right now. So this is it. These are my, I, I guess this is what, six pairs? Uh, but there is a consolation. All of these are incredible performers in my opinion. I love playing them. But none of these are perfect. You know, there's a, there's a few things I don't like about them. And I, I wish they would change a little bit. So that's what we're going to be going over today. So if you guys do want to cop any of these shoes, I'll try to leave links to all of them down in the description box. But yeah, let's start it off with the Kobe 4. The Kobe 4 is an older shoe. And uh, I didn't really test it when it came out. Donnie Boy did. I got it a lot later, but I got this colorway uh, at the Nike outlets for a pretty good price. I was like, ooh, this colorway is super dope as well. I, I believe this is the Fade to Black colorway. The, the traction is really, really good with this solid rubber outsole. The cushion is super soft. I mean, I don't know what foam they're using, but it's really, really soft. It also has a nice little bounce to it, but just crazy impression. And this material also isn't very bad. It's like this suede material, but overall it's soft and I would say it's way better than uh, the synthetic material. So yeah, there's really nothing bad I can say about this shoe. Like I really, really like this. And I, I don't really think I would change anything about it. I, maybe this is the only shoe where I wouldn't change anything about it, you know? I guess make it a little lighter. I, I don't really know how heavy it is. No, it's 12 ounces. What the? Wait, what? what? So yeah, the Kobe 4 Pro Trail, I really, really like playing in these. So these are, this is definitely in my rotation, like at all times. So there's the Kobe's. Next is the Kobe 5. The Kobe 5, uh, the performance review should be out. So you guys can go check it out if you want. I mean, also everything about the shoe is incredible. The traction is nice. The cushion with this full length cushion line is very soft. One thing I would change is uh, I guess the synthetic material, but it's also like not bad. I don't mind it. It's thin, it gets soft enough for me. It's also very, very supportive. The fit is very nice for me, but at, at first it was very, very narrow. But also like the traction on dust wasn't the best. I would have to constantly wipe it. Even if there was dust, it just wouldn't bite as hard as on a clean court. So I guess I would change that as well. I, uh, make the traction performance on dust a little bit better. But other than that, Kobe 5 Pro Tro is really, really nice. And I'd have to say the Kobe 5 Pro Tro is probably the best looking shoe out of all of these in my opinion. So uh, there's the Kobe 5s. Next is the Dame 6. So this is in no particular order, you know? Uh, I love all of these shoes, I would say equally. Dame 6, there are quite a few things I would change, or I guess just a couple of things. The traction is incredible, but the dust performance is not. It's not horrendous on dust, but they could do a lot better. Like it could improve a lot. So it picks up dust pretty fast. It's a, the good thing is it's a light wipe, but if you let too much dust build up, you know, like it slides out. It's kind of dangerous, I would say. And also another thing is the materials are real, real trash. And I remember the Jacquard material in the D Lillard 2 or that mesh material that was coated in that TPU in the Dame 3, or even the Dame 4 material was super nice. The Dame 5 and Dame 6 material, they kind of fell off, you know? So uh, if they improve on those two things, I feel like this shoe would be probably one of my favorite shoes to play in also. Because like this light strike cushion is incredible. It feels very similar to this full length cushion and you know, the Kobe 4 in the heel. And it's way cheaper than the Kobe 4 and the Kobe 5. It's only 100 bucks or 110 bucks. This is 180 bucks, and I believe this was like 170, 180 bucks as well. This is the Constellation. This is a shoe that I don't think is out yet, and if it is, it's probably uh, very hard to get in the US. So this is the Leaning Ushai 13. First thing is, this shoe is so the sexy time. Like, if not for the Kobe 5 Pro Tro, I would say this is probably one of my favorite looking shoes on this on this desk the cushion with this full length boom cushion is very very nice it's, it's a little different than these i would say it's a little bit more like responsive because it's caged but you feel a little bit more impact protection and a little bit more like balance which is weird because this this material looks like boost you know and the traction is really nice as well it does pick up dust though so just watch out for that and the materials are very quality i, I would say the materials are a little thick for my liking. You know, I wish they would have uh, made it a little bit thinner, a little bit more minimal, and also made the fit a little bit more snug. You know, like for me personally, if the fit was closer to the Kobe 4 and the Kobe 5 Pro Show, it would have been a lot better. The This shoe is a little bit roomy. So uh, other than that, it's an incredible performer, but the price is not very nice. On one of the retail sites, it's not Leaning's actual site, but it's more of like a retail store, kind of like Foot Locker or Champs or something in China. 
and they're selling for 350 bucks which is kind of insane next shoe is the pg4 and this shoe is incredible as far as performance goes and for the price it's only 110 bucks but the performance is off the charts the traction is really really nice again i mean on dust it's it's okay, but it does pick up dust, which kind of sucks. But you know, once you wipe, you have a few good stops again. Cushion is probably my favorite cushion setup on this table. I mean, all of these are very, very nice. But uh, this foam is very soft, but not only is the foam soft, you have that full length air struggle unit. And then this material isn't bad. It is just kind of like shit mesh material, but like it is double layered with this shroud. It feels pretty supportive and overall it feels nice on foot. And I just really, really like playing in these shoes. Aesthetically though, still not a fan. I feel like this is probably one of the ugliest looking shoes in my opinion on this desk. But that's just my opinion. I'm pretty sure there are a few people that do actually like the way the PG4s look. So uh, there's a PG4. And last but not least is the Jordan 34. And everything about this shoe is incredible. Besides, I guess one thing I would change is the, uh, the foam. The foam that they use in this is a little stiff. Like for example, the, the foam that they use in like m most of their budget models, like in the Jumpman 2020 and the Jumpman Diamond Mid is a lot softer than this. There isn't a lot of heel compression, which, you know, I like to have a good amount of heel compression. So uh, that's just personal preference for me, but uh, the four foot zoom in it feels incredible. It's bouncy, traction's nice. This upper feel is very minimal, very light, conforms to your foot really well. So on foot, performance is really nice and also it's a pretty light feeling shoe as well. But this shoe is also pretty damn expensive. It's going for 180 bucks. Um, so yeah, I mean, all of these shoes, I really, really like to play in. My favorites out of all of these would have to be uh, the Kobe 4 Pro Tro and the PG4. But I can really play in any of these shoes all day. So um, yeah, if you guys do want to cop, I'll leave a link in the description box. And also tell us what your favorite shoes to play in are right now, like your top three. But uh, yeah, that's my top shoes to play in right now as far as like recent shoes go. But that's it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next one.